Hey everyone, Sprite Hornby here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel here, and definitely got some more updates in the CFL here. I can just say another story. Not surprisingly, you can fall under here, and so much so with all the pandemic that's been going on here, I decided to make a playlist on uh, putting all my videos where I talk about that there. So. Uh, you can put this video in here, but this is pretty much just expanding on last week where the CFL announced that the training camps were going to be postponed here, but now this video I'm going to be talking about that the CFL announced recently that the season's not going to start at least until July here. Well, not really surprising here given the global pandemic and the COVID-19 here that uh, it was looking less less likely that training camps were going to start on time, especially with travel restrictions between the countries, Canada and the U.S. and all over here, since a good portion of our players come from the U.S. as well, we have some now global players, so we are not going to be starting the season that way. And also the fact that uh, major cities in Canada, including this city right here in Calgary, has been putting in bans on public events and gatherings where I talked about last week that the city of Calgary banned public events and gatherings until June 30th there, and that included sporting events, if we were, were to be any, like the Flames and Stampeders. And also I know the city of Toronto also put in a similar ban, but it didn't include public events for public professional sports, I should say, until June 30th, and I understood that the city of Montreal also put in a ban that goes until July 2nd, uh, what's the difference between those few days there, but, uh, you know, with more major cities where they have a CFL team that's putting those restrictions in, this is not surprising that I'm making video on this, but in the statement that Commissioner Randy Brosi said, I mean, it's obviously the same, you know, public health and safety of our players, fans, coaches, and everybody involved is priority, and that's definitely been why steps have been taken with restrictions, social distancing, and the fact that uh, I've been staying inside and working at home, which uh, is the reason why we're not having normal life right now, but uh, it's definitely nice to know that uh, CFL is still trying to be committed to uh, put the safety of everyone at play here, but as well as try to maybe salvage, as it did say in the statement, as close to as much of a full regular season as possible here. I mean, play an 18 game regular season in the CFL, I mean, you have to two preseason games at the start of the year, and then you have the three rounds of the playoffs in November, where you got the divisional semifinals and then the finals, and then the Grey Cup itself there, where the Grey Cup will be in November there, and Regina is slated to host the 108th Grey Cup this season here, and as we know, the, they're still committed to having the Grey Cup played that day there, so it's still hard to say how we're going to be playing CFL games. I mean, definitely, I'm not surprised that uh, they said that, well, it ain't happening before July, which, I mean, it is what it is. And, you know, you also got to wonder if and when they do play, how are they going to play it in full stadiums here? I mean, I know I made that video last week talking about uh, the training camps being cancelled and there was speculation in last week that uh, maybe the season was not going to start until Labor Day and I was just thinking of the hypothetical what it would be like if the home opener and Labor Day was on the same day and only play half a season essentially it's the second half of the season after Labor Day and definitely would make a more tense regular season already starting off with the arrival but uh yeah, there's definitely, I mean, this pandemic thing obviously has evolved. I mean, 
it seemed like, you know, people were downplaying it at the beginning there, and then suddenly when they realized how serious it is, and then locking everything down, and definitely has evolved and changed that, uh, you know, public gatherings and that, you know, it's definitely going to take a while before we would somehow go out like we used to. And uh, it's definitely going to be interesting how that's going to play out, especially, you know, travel and fans playing and coming together in a stadium here. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's going to be no games until at least July here, which is not surprising here. And obviously I'll keep making follow-up videos as we know more details on how we're going to proceed and have a somewhat of a season and eventually a great cup here. But uh, the one thing that I still know that's going to happen, and it, it could still happen, is the 2020 Canadian College Draft here. And I'll definitely, I, I looking back, I probably should have just made separate videos instead of mashing it in when I do my, when I did my Calgary Stampeders this month game recaps here. But I think given the circumstances now, I'll actually make a separate video on the Canadian College Draft, which is scheduled to go on the 30th of April there. As I know, it's still going to happen, Aaron, and it's not in that traditional form that you see. You know how they do it with the NHL or the NFL where everyone gathers either in an arena or some kind of convention center there. It's all done telephone, so I think the, as I know, the Canadian College Draft is still going to go as scheduled because, you know, the general managers are in their offices here and given that we're all working from home or anywhere these days, that could still happen. So as I know, it's still going to happen and I'll make a video on that and the Calgary Stampeders do have the first overall pick from that Nick Arbuckle trade. So uh be interesting, interesting to see how the Calgary Stampeders will do with that pick there. And I think I'll do my recap the same way that I done my NHL NHL recaps. I'll go over the picks that uh, the Calgary has. And I'll also go over picks that were in play that we made trades on and see what that player was used on there. So uh, expect that. And also the fact that with these cancellations there, I know the uh, combines and the global draft has been postponed. Each team gets to pick a global player from the, uh, the League of Mexico there. So that's why you start seeing more global players on the roster there. So uh, that is pu pushed off until after training camp, whenever that's going to be. But uh, there's a little more certainty when I made that video a couple weeks ago where I asked the question, when the heck do we play sports again? There slowly is being some clarity in terms of we at least know some of it, where the case with the... Uh, I mean, football still has a little more time. And I know that the president of the United States, Donald Trump, he's a football NFL fan, and he's still is hoping that the NFL can still uh, go on as scheduled. I mean, there's still time for when it comes to uh, NFL and getting their season going here, but uh, the United States definitely has been hit harder with uh, this pandemic as well here, so it'll be interesting to see how NFL will go as scheduled and have their gatherings too. And I mean, it's definitely a scary time here, but uh, that's one of the reasons why I made that playlist, because this video will go also in that playlist about uh, you know, the pandemic here. Something to look back on a few years later, thinking we had this happen and this is what happened, and have it in retrospect here, and that's the view of this platform here. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is another video I'm talking about sports not happening and don't know what's going to happen but uh, you know that's also one of the things that I've been doing to try to cope with everything here you know is doing this and uh, you know I definitely hopefully we can still salvage something here and it would definitely be great if I can still eventually go to McMahon and catch some games here don't know if I'll be catching any out of town games this year I know Grey Cup is, even before all this has happened, was not looking good this year just because of, uh, I wouldn't know how to travel there because there was a bus option, but uh, it's that finding that hotel part, that uh, part was going to be tough, and uh, I'm not uh, willing to not mean to do a football pun. Throw Hail Mary and try to uh, reach out 
I mean, I do have some family and sense of friends here, but when you haven't seen them in years, and there's other reasons behind the scenes, like, uh, for example, I have animal allergies, and they have animals, and that could be a problem. So I'm not going to go that way, but uh, that's a whole other story here. But, uh, yeah, so what do you think about this with the CFL? You're definitely not surprised here. And do you still think we'll have a season or some kind of a season here? Will the Great Cup still go as scheduled? I mean, what do you think here? But uh, it's definitely, you know, we're all... They say we're all in this together here, but it's still a little solace to me. But uh, it is what it is. So, as I say, if you want to follow along with this Calgary sports fans journey, home the Flames, Hitman, Roughnecks, and Stampeders, you know what you need to do. Just uh, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and follow along there. I also do Calgary sports and sports content here, and I've still been putting out content mostly this Lately here, but I've also come up with some other ideas on how I'm going to keep making sports content there to put on this channel. But I also do personal vlogs, attempt to comedy, and I also share my experiences on the road. Whereas right morning man here, let's say for example, I had a great cup or some Stampeder games. So that all sounds like you'd be interested to watch on my channel to follow along with this Calgary Sports Fans journey. Just make sure you hit like, subscribe to follow along here. And thanks to those who have been following along already here and I also have my other social media links down in the description below here to give you other ways to follow along with this Calgary sports fans journey. So as I will say here, go stamps go and hopefully uh, you know I'll be showing my red at a football game in the near future here but uh, we just don't know. We just know up to this point here that it's not going to be until after July and that's all we can say up to this point here, so as I say, I'll see you in the next video here.